Good evening. We begin tonight with the growing violence in Haiti. The country is under a state of emergency and Caribbean leaders are calling for support from their allies, including Canada. With gangs attempting to topple the government, many foreigners are desperate to find a way out. CTV's Jeremy Sharon has more on the chaos and the Canadians stuck in the middle of it. Gunfire on the streets of Port-au-Prince. Haitians take cover amid growing clashes between gangs and police. For a few weeks, the country has not been governed. There is no authority, this man says. The airport shut down for days now under frequent fire. I can hear the shots, but there's nothing whistling overhead. So I know they're not shooting in our direction. But it's, well, I wouldn't say stressful, it's worrying. For this Canadian caught in the middle of it, there is no escape. Desperate for a way out, David Rochlow has been unable to get a flight out for a week now. Right now, the, the bandits are they're just shooting up the airport every once in a while to keep it shut down. Rochlow is here to help train farmers, a project years in the making. Now he's sheltering away from the chaos with no clear way out. For the moment, we're fine. It's if we have to go and go to the grocery store, get some supplies, then we're screwed. Or, you know, there's more information that gets out. We could be kidnapped while we're going down there or coming back. On the ground, gangs launched attacks on police stations today. If Ariel Henry doesn't step down, the country will suffer a genocide, says this gang leader. The embattled prime minister has been forced to stay out of his country for safety reasons. What we have seen uh, over the last few days or week is 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 unusual in the sense that the gang we, were usually controlling their respective territories have started to unite and target some of the key infrastructures. The Canadian embassy has closed to the public and U.S. officials have airlifted non-essential personnel from their embassy. Caribbean leaders have called an emergency meeting in Jamaica tomorrow to discuss the situation. Canada's ambassador to the United Nations, Bob Ray, is expected to attend. John? All right. Thanks, Jeremy.